A, B, and C are collinear, and B is between A and C. The ratio of A, B to A, C is two to five. If A is at negative six comma nine, and B is at negative two comma three, what are the coordinates of point C? And I encourage you to now pause this video and try this on your own. So let's try to visualize this. So A, A is at negative six comma nine, negative six comma nine. B, let's see, it's less negative in the horizontal direction. It's lower in the vertical direction. So maybe we could put B right over here. B is at the point negative two comma three. And at C, it's going to be collinear, so we're going to go along the same line. So let me draw that line right now. So it's going to be, it's going to be collinear. It's going to be collinear. And they tell us that the ratio of A, B to A, C is two to five. So B is going to be two-fifths of the way. So let's say C is, I'm just trying to eyeball it right now. Let's put C right over here. And we don't know C's coordinates. Well, the way we could think about it is to break it up into horizontal change in coordinate and vertical change in coordinate and apply the same ratio. So for example, what is the horizontal change in coordinates going from A to B? Well, let's draw that. Going from A to B, so this is A's x coordinate, it's at negative six. B's x coordinate is at negative two. So it's this just change right over here. This is the horizontal change that we care about. Now what is that? Well, if you, go, if you start at negative six and you go to negative two, you have, you have increased, you have increased by four. Another way of thinking about it is negative two minus negative six is the same thing as negative two plus six, which is going to be four. Now, the ratio between this change and the change of the x coordinate between a and c is going to be two to five. So let's call that change, let's call that change, this entire change, let's call this, let's call this, let's call this x. So we could say that the ratio between four and x is equal to, notice this is a change, the horizontal change between from a to b, just if you look on the horizontal axis. So the ratio of that, which is four, to the horizontal change between a and c, well that's going to have to be the same ratio. So it's going to be two over five. Now to solve for x, a, a, a fun thing might be to just to find, take the reciprocal of both sides. So x over four is equal to five over two. We could multiply both sides times four, and we are left with x is equal to five times four divided by two, which is equal to 10. So the change in x from a to c is going to be 10. So what does that tell us about c's x coordinate? So we could start with a's x coordinate, which is negative six, add 10 to it, negative six plus 10 is four. So we figured out the x coordinate, now we just have to do the same thing for the y. So what is the change in y going from a to b? Going from A to B, what is the change in Y? Well here we go from nine to three. We've gone down six. Another way you could say it is well, three minus nine is negative six. To find the change, you could think oh, I'm just taking the end point and subtracting from that the starting point. Negative two minus six, sorry, negative two minus negative six was positive four. Three minus three minus nine is negative six. Or you could just look at it. We've gone down six, so we can write negative six here. Now, our change in y is going to, we're gonna to have to have that same ratio. So our change in y between a and c, let's just call that, let's just call that distance y. So our change in y is, that's our change in y, and we're going to have to have the same ratios. So we could write that the ratio between our change in y from a to b, which is negative six, to the ratio between our change in y from a to c, negative six to y is once again going to be equal to two to five. Once again, we could take the reciprocal of both sides. y over negative six is equal to five over two. Multiply both sides times negative six. And we are left with y is equal to, five times negative six is negative 30, divided by two is negative 15. So our change in y, or I guess our change in our vertical axis, which we're calling y in this case, is negative 15. 
So here, if our y value is 9, and if we were to subtract 15 from that, where does that put us? Well, 9 minus 15 is going to put us at 6. 9 minus 15 is going to put us at 6. So the coordinates for point C are at the coord oh sorry, it's 9 minus 15 is going to put us at negative 6. I almost made a careless mistake. 9 minus 15 is negative 6. I was wondering, this seems very low to be at point 6. So 4 comma negative 6 is a coordinate of point C.